Seasons changing is always a great time to offer a new list to clients or to freshen up your recipe collection. Coming out of a crappy winter, sick of heavy foods, a lot of people feel like they just want to lighten up what they're eating with the increasing sun, right? Hey there, Chef Shelly here. I'm a personal chef. I've had a successful business for over 15 years, and when I'm not cooking for my own clients, I help passionate cooks just like you start your own successful personal chef business so that you can get paid to do what you love on your own terms. So let me tell you a little bit about what I'm cooking these days, why it's great for spring, and I'll even give you these recipes. So the first is creamy tortellini with peas. Peas are a great thing to use because they're available frozen year round, so there's no worries about their availability or quality, but they're still really associated with spring. See too if you can find petite frozen peas, which are just a little bit more tender and special. It's great to add these in to a cheese tortellini in a very light cream sauce because, of course, pasta is always super family friendly. Kids love it. Mom can leave the peas out. If she doesn't want them for the kids, you can just package them on the side if you're doing this for a client. And of course, this is vegetarian. If you need to adjust this for other types of clients, it's super easy to do. You can either substitute a gluten-free pasta if you need it for a gluten-free client. If you wanna make it vegan, you can use, of course, an alternative to dairy and a different pasta that has no dairy in it, like a tortellini. Instead, maybe use a pappardelle or something that the client likes, or chietta. Little ears is perfect because it cups the little peas. So next is a lemon crumb tilapia. The great thing about tilapia is that it is a sustainably farmed fish. If the client doesn't like it and likes other fish, this flavor profile easily goes with any other type of mild white fish. And because tilapia is a mild white fish, it is again, very family friendly. People who might not like a lot of strong fishes like salmon or mahi or anything like that still might like tilapia. And fresh lemon is just a really bright flavor for spring. Now again, this lemon crumb tilapia has panko on it for the crumb topping, but if you need to make it gluten-free, would you believe that they make pork rind panko? They take those chicharrones and they just beat them up for you into little crumbs, and those are a perfect substitute for someone who's gluten-free, someone who's paleo, someone who's keto. Now, here's the deal. There are two different ways that you can offer fish to clients. One, you can give it to them raw with the crumb topping packaged separately, give them instructions to make sure that they cook it up to the right temp, and tell them that it has to be used in that night's dinner. Or of course, you can cook it and give them very careful reheating instructions to, and make sure you say, if you overheat this, it will be tough and dry. Always, regardless, be sure to put your expiration date on your dishes, especially fish dishes. So next is lasagna roll-ups. Now, I love having lasagna recipes in my collection because it's so easy to accommodate anyone, whether it's they're allergic to garlic and you need to leave it out, if they're doing keto, if they're doing gluten-free, if they're vegan, or really any other allergy or special diet. These lasagna roll-ups, even though we typically think of lasagna as a heavy winter, cold, yummy kind of comfort food, they're lighter than that heavy layered casserole style. So they're rolled with a little bit of filling and sauce. They're portioned, which is perfect for people that are trying to eat more healthy and watching their portions and they look really fancy even though it does not take you a ton of time at all. So that is definitely a win-win. Of course, totally family friendly as it's a lasagna and you can adjust it a thousand different ways from your typical cheese and marinara type to adding meat to doing a roasted vegetable, wild mushroom, a million different ways. Finally, chicken and asparagus crepes. Afraid of crepes? Bear with me here for just a second. 
First of all, asparagus is like the original spring vegetable. It's fancy, but it's super easy for you to cook on a cook day. And you, I promise, can absolutely do crepes for a small catering. You can do them as an appetizer, as part of the entree, and even part of a dessert. Probably not all three at one party, but you get where I'm going with this. They're also great. This recipe is great if you're doing another entree in your cook day that is cooked chicken because you can just add extra when you're cooking it and incorporate it into this dish. Now, this is a great dish for clients for a lot of reasons. If you have a family who wants something more adult for them, but the kids just wanna eat kid food and they don't want any super weird flavors or anything, this is actually very approachable for kids. Now, for vegetarians, you could just use an assortment of spring veggies. For paleo and keto, skip the crepe made with flour, just blend up the eggs and cook them in a very thin round like in an eight inch pan there you go egg crepes again for gluten-free you can just google a recipe that uses an alternative flour to make gluten-free crepes and this is another great example of a recipe that feels like a fancy upgrade to clients it does not take you a lot more time and it can be adjusted to fit any different type of client Again, if you haven't made crepes before, it is definitely not a technique that you need to be intimidated by, but that's easy for me to say, and the best way for you to get familiar with crepes and confident at them is just to do them. And a great thing about them too is that it's very simple ingredient list, pretty much eggs, flour, water, pretty basic. So if you do mess up a few batches, you're not going to go to the poorhouse on the grocery expense, right? So, if you need to grow your recipe library and any of these sound interesting, you can get the recipes in the link below and try them out and add them to your recipe collection. If you are wanting to start your personal chef business or you already have a personal chef business, you should always be growing your recipe collection. Always be mastering new techniques, like if crepes are a new technique to you. Even if it's sauteing chicken breasts or grilling or broiling, whatever, be adding to your techniques and working on up-leveling your skills because nothing is going to grow your confidence and grow your skills like actually practicing a personal chef service, also known as meal prep services, for yourself exactly like you would for a client, step by step. You can download my free guide. There's a link below right by the recipe link that walks you through exactly how to do practice for yourself like you would for a client, because I'm telling you, the clients are out there and they're hungry for what you're cooking.